Okay, now let's let's look at question seven in your homework exercise five point four five point four page one one seven now. So let's look at question. So they are asking you to draw a circle, and you have some equal letter triangle inside. So you can just use your book as a reference lah. So for seven a, they ask you to you know, do this diagram. Okay, now you can't just cop like draw this diagram blindly. You need to use a compass. Okay. So, what did they tell you? So, they didn't tell you the length, alright? So, in another word, you're just going to draw a circle with any length you want. It doesn't matter, since they did not specify. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Just draw a circle like so. Alright. So, what will be helpful is, I'm just going to draw my diameter. Okay, or oh, in fact, in this question, it's just the radius. So I'm just going to draw the radius. So the radius is the center of the circle until it touches the circumference of the circle. And, okay, let me la label. This is O and B based on the question. And my A and C will be somewhere on top and bottom here. But I can't just simply label. I need to construct them. But what do I know? They say they are equal letter triangle, which means all the angles are 60 degree. And you already know how to construct 60 degree, correct or not? So just take your compass, place it, place it. Okay, make sure it's equal. Just draw an arc, just draw an arc like so, and you're done. <laughs> so all you need to do is just to connect. And these are all 60s, okay? These are all 60. Okay, you can even use your protractor to check. Lah, huh? So just to show if I go too fast. So you see, this is your arc. And then this is your arc on top. So you just put and cut it. So from here to here is your 60. Just connect all the points and automatically you know all these are. 60 degree each, they are the same. You can use your protractor to double check, which I'm going to do right now for you. And it's exactly a 60 as expected, okay? And then now they ask you to do what? Uh, they ask you to inscribe a regular hexagon in the circle. So hexagon is a shape with six sides. So you already have two sides, which is one and two over here. So you just need to do you just need to do another six sides. So what do you do? Now, based on what you have know about interior angle, this formula, n minus 2 multiply 180. So hexagon, 6 minus 2 times 180. What do you get? 4 times 180 and divide by 6. So each angle of the hexagon, all right, each interior angle, in uh, interior for in, interior for in lah, Angle it's hundred twenty, correct or not? So you know this part is sixty and this part is sixty. So both of them they add up together to hundred twenty, correct or not? And you know this part is sixty already. So basically, in other words, they're asking you to construct sixty degree all around the circle. So how are you gonna do that? It's very simple. Take your compass. Okay, you have your arc here already, right? So all you need to do is to draw 120, which you have learned is part of one of your skills. Just draw an arc over here. Alright, and then just draw another one. So this will be 180. And then just draw another one. Okay. And then you are basically done. Okay. So all you need to do now is to connect all the lines only. Just connect all the lines. Okay, you might not be able to see the equal letter triangle now, but let me just finish drawing this hexagon and I'll show you. Alright, so you can see your hexagon is six sides, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, so if, okay, so can you see the equal letter triangle now? So if I were to connect here to here, can you see? I mean, you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to show you. So can you see, I have formed all my equal letter triangle. 
so this is also 60 this is also 60 this is also 60 and so on and when you add up all the interior angle is indeed 120 so that's how you draw a hexagon okay a perfect hexagon using a compass with the help of the circle all right thank you